Hi, it's Brittany with Left in Free Kitchen, and I'm talking to you today about a super exciting topic, which is phase one of the Plant Paradox plan. There are three different phases to Plant Paradox technically, but in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the three day cleanse, and that is going to be the first step in your Plant Paradox journey. There are certainly a few steps I actually recommend before for doing this phase one um, and I'll dive into them in this video but the three-day cleanse is what is going to kickstart your gut your body and your journey as you dive into plant paradox it really prepares your body and your gut to absorb all of the healthy foods um, that you will be eating hopefully for the rest of your life but through phase two and phase three so it's a great way to clean out your body get your gut ready and really get rid of all of those bad things that your gut and all of the other organs in your body are holding on to. Um, that way, when it comes to phase two, you have a fresh start and you're starting that journey of healing your gut, healing your body, working on all of those you know problems you may be dealing with, whether that's menstrual cycle problems or arthritis or eczema or whatever it may be, this is going to be the first step in your healing journey. One thing that I recommend before you even start the three-day cleanse is preparing for it. And this is super important because you have to have preparation if you're going to be successful. You can't just willy-nilly say, hey, I'm gonna do a three-day cleanse today. Maybe you can do that if you are already on Plant Paradox and you already have all the items stocked in your fridge, but I still think that mental preparation is important. So physically with your kitchen, you may be ready, but mentally it's also something you need to prepare for because doing a cleanse, especially for three days, I feel like two days is a little bit easier. On the third day, it can be really hard, um, but doing a cleanse is very similar to starting a new workout routine or starting a new job. It is going to take adjustment and it's going to take dedication and commitment. So that's what the preparation will actually help you do. It's going to help you be successful. The worst thing you can do is get through day one, get through even half of day two or all of day two, and then eat something you're not supposed to on day three. And then all of the money that you spent on your food for your cleanse, all of the time you put into preparing, all of the mental energy you put into doing something good for your body is going to go to waste. And we never want that to happen. So let's definitely prepare. Um, that way you can be successful. There are a few different ways that you can prepare in this case. Um, and that, first of all, I would say starts with your kitchen. It starts with your fridge and it starts with your pantry. And it may even start with a discussion with your family. If you have food in your kitchen and in your pantry that is not going to be compliant for that three day cleanse, what I actually recommend doing is you can put it in a cabinet um, that you will not even open when you're on the three day cleanse. You can also put all of that food in a bin that locks so that it's much harder to get to or you can put it towards the back of your fridge if it's something that still needs to be refrigerated um, that way it's not the first thing that you see when you open your fridge up to go get a snack or to eat that meal on your three-day cleanse you can also put a bin in your fridge that has a lock lid um, and then it's even harder to get to it so that's another you know tip that you could do as well. That's the preparation you'll want to do with your fridge before you go to the grocery store. And going to the grocery store, if you don't already have the food in your household, is really important to do before you actually start. So I would definitely recommend having everything ready before day one of your cleanse, just so that you're not having to go to the grocery store and be tempted of, oh, that looks so good. I really want that strawberry or that blue 
blueberry. Um, and those aren't things that are necessarily in the three day cleanse. They're certainly approved later on in the diet, but not for the three day cleanse. And you don't want to be tempted with those. So go to the grocery store before you start. That way you can successfully buy and stay on your three day cleanse, not having food in your fridge that you're going to be tempted to eat. Those are what I recommend to do before you start the diet, but once you actually do start, definitely keep those foods you're able to eat front and center in your fridge and in your pantry so that they're easy to grab when you're hungry. You can also keep them out on your counter. That's definitely something I recommend and have avocados out and a little bowl of nuts that maybe you pre-made ahead of time. You can have olives stashed in your fridge and lots of leafy greens and things that are really really good for you to eat that are totally accessible. Wash your greens ahead of time. That way when you're hungry and your body is going through that detox, you're not having to take the time to go grab them from your fridge, take them out of the bag, wash them in your sink, make sure they're dried, and then put them together. Instead, you can do all of that ahead of time just so that everything is ready when you're hungry and on your cleanse. Another great tip is to pre-portion your meat into three to four ounce portions. So this will help make sure you're getting the right portion of your meat every day when you're eating that. Definitely make sure that the meat is um, the premium type that you can get because you are doing a three day cleanse. This is one of the times I absolutely recommend sticking to that because like I said, you're getting rid of all of those bad um, bad gut bugs and all that detox that is happening in your gut. You want to make sure that all happens well. Another recommendation is to drink tons of water throughout this cleanse and get your gut moving smoothly. This is really important when you're on a cleanse, your body is doing a lot of hard work and that water is going to help keep your energy up and it's really going to help your body detox the way that it should. Plus it also helps if you're feeling hungry. If you're drinking a lot of water, you're going to feel less hungry, less groggy throughout the day, which is a very normal symptom of a three day cleanse, but having that water is going to be super helpful for you. You can also have tea or coffee, just stay away from any of the dairy added into that or any of the sugar, but you can certainly incorporate both of those if you're getting bored of water. However, water is going to be the main priority that you need to drink all three days um, as you're going through this detox. Again, going through detox is a little hard on your body and you're definitely going to feel those detox symptoms, whether that's grogginess or headaches or fatigue, that's all totally normal, but I can guarantee you that by the end of day three, you're going to feel so good. And if you stick to it well, you're going to feel so proud of yourself as you start the next phase of your journey and hopefully a long and healthy um, lifestyle as you start this new way of eating as well.